How's it going boys? Today we are playing the Mono Green 300 IQ Big Brain Super Mega Lord deck. Oh yes, this is not an elf's deck, even though it kind of looks like one, but trust me, when I have lied to you, never. We are actually a Rixless Vivian Raid type of deck. Oh yes, that's that's totally different, by the way. So we have four Lane of War Elves, four Incubation Druids, four Paradisio Druids, four Elf Arc Druids, four Marvins, two Garooks, four Nisses who shake them worlds, four Vivian Raids, 5.3 versions, uh, four Vorixlixes, four Great Hindu, and a bunch of lands. Four Karns Bastions, four Great, uh, four Castle Garbage Stain, 24 lands to be specific. It's a, it, actually, it says 23 here, but trust me, Wizards is an indie development company that does not know how to count. So there we go. We use the, well, we abuse the, pa the part that elves ramp like there's no absolute tomorrow, and then we just cheat out things and instantly combo stuff. It is a great experience, trust me. So, without any further ado, boys, let's just get a cracking and see what happens. And in the meantime, thank you, all the boys who are Patreons, you are the best. And thank you, all the boys who press the subscribe button, you are kinda the best. Well, admittedly, I have to ask the question, why didn't you press the subscribe button previously? Honestly, kind of dodgy, not gonna lie. Uh, but it's fine-ish. Okay, we get to go first. That is absolutely 100% amazing. Paradisio Druid, a Marvin, and a Nissa. Oh, that's a Dynast- No, that's a Merfolk deck? Ugh. God, I hate Merfolks. They are absolutely the worst. Do I win? That's a good question. He may actually tap my things. And that will be, well, annoying. Okay, he's kind of buffing shit up. Don't like that. Well, I wonder do we win. Merfolks are broken. Not broken, broken as elves or, well, you know, pretty much anything else in this game. But broken nonetheless. Okay, so what's the plan? The plan is simple. Play this, play this, Vorix Slicks, and then we play this uh, emblem. That should be decent-ish, at the bare minimum, I think. He hasn't dropped the Deep Throat Elite, he has not dropped the Mist Babe, he does not... Well, he has not done anything too much currently, which gives us hope for a better future. Also, a future with Vorix Slicks, which is always a nice old future -o. Oh, yes, boys, look at this. Yep, that's a... Well, that's the easiest win of my life. Most likely he was missing land drops or something like that. Uh, but this is magic. And if you are incapable of drawing the amount of lands you need to draw, well, how about you just become a little bit less shit at the game? How about that? S drawing lands is a skill. Not RNG, like everyone falsely thinks, by the way. So yeah, easiest win of my life. Let's hope for a little bit more easiest wins of my life. So, as you can probably tell, the point of this deck is to make things invulnerable with the emblems. What Xlix does a very good job at it. Also, may I add, let's see. Wow, this is the most dodgiest hand I have ever seen in my life. And... I, uh, and, and, and I have lived life. Well, the Vivian Raid looks nice. The Great Hinge looks nice. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Yonder I wander. Also, can you hear that? Probably you can. Anyway, my parrot's going berserk for some reason. He just kind of does that time to time. He likes to yell. Incoherently. This time that was a little bit long. Usually he yells like three times and it's fine. Eh. Let's see. Oof. Wait, what is this even? Is that a... I actually don't know what that is. That's some kind of dum dum deck, it seems like. Well, dum dum deck or not. There's a Marvin, there's an Elvish whatever, and a Great Hindu. I think... Jesus Christ, he's actually like yelling for a very long time. What the fuck? Wait, how does this work? Dude, I never bothered to read what the card does, it kind of seems dumb. Seem well, annoying at the bare minimum. Whenever dwarves do something, dwar dwarves do something. Seems counter 
kind of counterproductive if you ask me, but hey, I am not one to argue. Okay, the plan is simple. Drop Elvish boy, drop Elvish boy, play Vivian, maybe play Hinge in the middle. I honestly don't know. Anyway, oh, all that glitters. Yes, why not, chief? Why not? Wait, you actually, are you gonna almost kill? Dude! The fuck is this? How does the, this, this even create c c treasure tokens? Other than whenever Dwarf you can tap, create sacrifice. Dude, it doesn't say anything about creating treasures. Whenever a dwarf you can throw- Oh, because this is a dwarf and this is tap. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess it makes sense somewhere along the lines. Well, shimata, what can I say, boys? You think there's an ember cleave somewhere in the mix? There could be. God almighty, there could be. Okay, do I just drop that and kill this? Because all that glitters is really annoying. I don't know. As free of a win as we got, now we're gonna lose, it seems like. Oof. I don't know what that does. And I'm, again, I'm not exactly gonna figure it out, because dwarfs are this fucking casting. And no one can tell me otherwise. No one is gonna tell me that dwarfs aren't the most disgusting things that you have ever seen in your pitiful lives. Oh no, we're not, we're, 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 that's not even a conversation that we're ever gonna have. I think we lose, because, well, all that glitters is obviously a very balanced card that should cost at least 7 in my opinion. Hey, Ugin costs 8, but he still is amazing. This could cost 20 and still be good. Okay, this game is stupid. Well now, ain't that wonderful. Plays all that glitters. Great. Okay, note to self, dwarfs are stupid. Man, what kind of manlet actually even plays Dwarf decks? Like, I understand fetishes, boys. You know? L literal uh, milf lover, naga lover right here. By the way, nagas are not merfolk, so there's a dis distinction if you did not know. Also, Kiora is a naga, not a merfolk. So there you have it. J j j just putting it out right there. Uh, but yeah, anyone who has a fetish towards dwarfs... Kind of sick. Kind of sick, nasty, and not the good way you feel. Anyway, hopefully no more dwarfs. Hopefully also no more flying, flying creatures, because Vivian's the only thing that deals with flying creatures. Okay. Oh, Lotus. Great. If that's an enchantment deck, I will scream. Okay, let's see. Lotus, 63 cards. Who does that? Marvin, Vivian, Elf Boys, Elvish Boys, Vivians, and Marvins. I like this. I'm not going first, which I do dislike, though. But I guess it's fine. You know, you can't have everything, even though... Oh! Oh! Okay. Wow! Such skill! Dropping a core waifu on turn 2. Wow! Such incredible skill! It's either core waifu or, no, or all that glitters. It's never anything else. That That's just how this game is balanced. Yep, there's only two up. The fuck?! Magic, you feeling okay? Maybe he doesn't roll with the good cards? Huh? I have no idea. <laughs> I I can't believe someone is legitimately just not playing a core waifu or all the glitters on turn two when he someone's playing a deck like this. It just does not make sense, you know? Okay, what does enemy can do now? Dude, staggering inside. This guy is going pretty deep. This guy is definitely going what you might call deep. Okay. Well, it doesn't exactly matter too much. I can always drop a. V oh my god! Of course, you just top deck the best goddamn thing in the game. Of course, you need to do that. Oh! Oh! Why not? Of course! Completely balanced! Yes! God damn it! Maybe this guy legitimately doesn't play core wa uh, waifus. Again, there's not a single deck that doesn't. Does play core waifus who does not get core waifus on turn two. It just doesn't happen. Well, 
Anyway, now I can, I think I can drop the Arc Druid and do this. Is he gonna, well, he's trying to get the Lotus back. Well, not back, back, but you get the point. Okay, let's see it to believe it. Can I get a... Not what I was expecting. Okay, let's see. So, if my calculations are correct, this should be good. Oh god, it actually worked. Wasn't sure because I did not do a single calculation. But it's dead. And honestly, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Okay, remember. When violence doesn't work, you just use more violence. I feel also of a Rixlix top deck, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, boys. 100% of a Rixlix top deck with this. Okay, so let's do this. Was it amazing? And it's... Don't blue ball me, game. I repeat, do not blue ball me. Vorex slicks. Come on, wizards. I know you're calculating. Oh, of course. Well, ain't that just peachy squeechy. Okay, how am I gonna play this, though? Do I want to drop this? I don't want to use that. Good, good, good game. Good. Yes, use the right uh, use the right tools game. Use the right tools. Okay, so now I'm gonna probably do this. Does 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 it actually matter? Probably not. Okay, should not not have done that, but I think it's fine. Okay, and do I want to drop this now? Let's attack with Marvin. I hate your HP enemy con. It it looks bad. And it, when it looks bad, that just means that I need to do that. Okay. Let's think. If we get a Vorix Slicks next turn, we can get the Emblem out. We can do the Vivian Schmivian things. He is definitely dropping a top tier. He's kind of slow. I like that, you know? You feel? I like that, the fact that enemy gun is being super slow. Does he seriously not have anything here? Kind of seems abrupt. To say the least, that he does not have a lot going on. Huh. Let's see. Oh, all that glitters. Wow, what a card. Another one! Of course you have double of these. The only thing that actually makes sense in this stupid game. Well played, enemy. Well played. Completely legit. Hashtag. Well, there goes my waifu. It's fine, though. We have extra sack materials. Also, still believing in that Vorex Slick situation. And a Danto Vanguard. Jesus Christ, this guy is annoying. Okay, Vorex Slicks. Now, <clears throat> I summon you. No, seriously, like, I summon you. Any moment. Still no Vorex Slicks game. It's like I'm not searching for him a lot, you know? It's, it's just not that. Also, game, please, stop using the incorrect lands. Seriously. Okay, let's see. Now he has to worry about, well, actually, multiple things going wrong. I guess that's fine, though, right? Okay, drop this. When do you think he actually goes on here, by the way, boys? When do you think he actually goes on? Hard to tell. Do I attack? Probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. There's no reason to attack just yet. Okay, so this is an emblem, and that's an emblem, and this will shoot down something. He has staggering inside, which we most likely puts uh, my, most likely puts on ornithopter, but no one cares about ornithopters nowadays. It's 2021. They're pretty much extinct because of, you know, pollution and shit. Okay, let's see what does he do. Does he understand that Khan's Bastion is a thing? Hopefully not. That would make it... Oh, a Hushbringer, you say? That's cute. I dislike literally everything I currently see here. Oh, that is, that is, that is great. Oh, come on, enemy con. Stop. Stop with your phony baloney. Okay. 
Yeah, it requires a long time to think. I know, I know, enemy con. I know. Okay, so first things first. We definitely do this. Wait, what's attacking that? Uh oh, uh oh! Wait, oh, the actual Arc Druid did that. Okay, that's fine in that case. Let's see, so this protects this. This hits my face? Everything wants to hit something. Do I just actually go for the Lotus kill? I think I do. Yeah, this is fine. He needs to... Wait, he sacks a dog and it's not fine. Okay! I guess it's better than nothing. Okay, you know what this means? An Elvishark Druid. That's not what I expected, but that's absolutely fine. Did I need to do that even? Um, well, now this is a problem for enemy con. I like it. Wait, can I tap this again? What? Oh, wait. Can I do the big boy plays? Is there a chance? <gasps> Boys, I'm a fucking genius. Look at this play. Oh, wrong land. Okay, n never mind. Never mind. Ne never. It's fine. You know what? It, it, it's fine. It's it's one hundred percent fine. Never never mind, boys. Never mind. It, it's fine. One hundred percent fine. We're still gonna get the Garuk, so might as well do this. So he at least has somewhere to put his man, so he can't get the dogs constantly. Oh shit, he actually checked which card I'm aiming for. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's see. So, now we get the Vrixlix out. Take action, boys. And a Vrixlix. Oh yes. Okay, so next turn we can con Bastion. Very amazing, very amazing. How does this, does this have six counters on it, by the way? I don't think I did anything, but maybe I did. I'm not sure at this moment in time. Okay, let's see. Dude, how... Does this guy seriously just not have core waifus? It looks like a default idiot enchantment deck, but it looks like he's missing something. <laughs> oh, that's pretty, that's pretty pitiful. Okay, let's see. Can I... I think I can. Okay, so boys, this is the plan. Grab diggers... No one cares about grab diggers cage. Okay, okay, so this is, so this is legitimately the plan, right? We do this. Amazing. 10 out of 10 skill overload. That's a bunch of things. Now I do this. And, it, and it's even magically better. Yeah, we win. Boys, we win like there's no tomorrow. What is it? What, it, what will it tap? Dude, just tap the druid. Oh, you actually need to tap two things. That's... You know what? That's acceptable. That is 100% acceptable. And now, we get an emblem. You know what this emblem does, boys? Something that should have happened like 50 turns ago, but that's absolutely also still fine. So now, enemy Kun needs to think real hard and b uh, fast about what he's gonna do. We're one, we're, by the way, just one damage off of lethal. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Kill me now! Uh, might as well do this. It's an extra thing on the board, so I like it. Okay, so, chances that we die... I don't know, kind of minuscule, I guess. Let's see, what do we want here? Probably a Marvin to spice things up. Oh, Grav dig Oh, turns out Grav Digger's Cage does some... Why do you main board Grav Digger's Cage, you idiot? Oh, Jesus, boy, some people in Grafticker's Cage. Okay, that does nothing. See, this is what happens when you don't put all the uh, all the glitters on your flying things. You die! You know? For no exactly good reason. Oh, no, please. Not my Nissa. Oh, no, the travesty. Dude, you're so fucking dead, it's not even funny. Well, it's actually kind of hilarious. Oh, but you get the point, enemy. Could 
he didn't survive this. This is like a very unsurvivable situation. Yeah, a little bit of that on Lotus does not change anything. Another Vorex looks, by the way. Not sure if that changes or does anything, but hey. If, if in case it does, then, well, even better. Just gonna untap this. No fears of settled dying wreckages. No fears of honestly anything, because look at this. Now this is a board, boys. No, this is a board. Okay, enemy con Seravi. Bitch. Yeah, you can you can choose your blockers however you like. I have trample. Oh, oh, you're gonna block the eight eight Vorex slicks with the ten nine. Oh, that's that's genius. I would have never thought about that. Now, how about the rest of the more than six damage that I'm gonna deal to you? That's right. Math is for blockers. And he at least, you, at le you know, say what you will, at least he put in an effort to pretend that he's doing math. We all know that he actually didn't. But he at least tried to pretend. Can't blame him, I pretend to know math all the time. In reality, pure one in maths, boys. From the first grade until the last grade, best, best non-one I have gotten in math was a two. And I threw a party, and then my grades fell down even more than that. Oh, yes. Okay. Archfiend Vessel, no one cares. Let's move onward, boys. So, as you can see, this deck is pre-extremely pre zen. When you win. When you lose, it's the opposite of zen. Not sure what zen means, but I'm, it sounds Asian, so it sounds very peaceful. Okay, let's see. Elvish whatever... Elvish whatever, elf. Ah, goddamn, the tranquil uh, tickets are gonna actually screw me over. Oof. Oh, even the Marvin. Wait, are we getting this opening constantly, currently? I, I have a feeling I have seen this exact hand somewhere. Oh, this is not a... No, that's not an elf deck. That's just some kind of disgusting Cretan deck. Yeah, same thing. Okay, let's see, boys. Is he gonna play the stupid, stupid card? You know, the big one. Also, I find it extremely unfair that I get to go second against an aggro deck. I find it extremely unfair every time I get to go second against anything, honestly. Oh, uh, but hey, it is true, though. It is true. Say what you will, it is true. Going second is unfair. Pretty much in almost every and any scenario. Dude! See, if... Dude, if I had to go first, I would already be plowing that missile like there's no tomorrow. Instead, we're sitting here, most likely now losing. Because, well, someone else had had the audacity, tenacity to go first. Which is obviously unacceptable. Do I want to drop the Garouk? We're gonna have to block things, right? Vivian's not an option, this is sadly also not an option. I think we're dead no matter what we do, but we can at least do a Garouk, right? Yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty screwed, boys. Pretty screwed. Why? Because we went second. Easy. Okay, how dead are we? Oh god, he's clicking with his stupid fingers! Oh, we have a brain lit, boys. An Elder Gargaroth, and that's what you needed to click the click so much for? Jesus Christ, then we can grow a brain or grow a pair. Oh, pathetic. Okay, you see? Again, if we win first, we actually most likely even win this game. Dude, this guy does not even know what he's doing. <laughs> and he doesn't know with, with what to attack and how to attack. That's hilarious. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's even plowing everything he has into that. Wow. Amazing. Dude. Again. Go first. This would have been an easy win. Go second. Well, suck a motherfucking dicku. Pre, 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 pre easy. 
You know, pre pretty easy, pretty easy to explain. Okay. So, three things, five things attacking. One of them has a goddamn, whatever it's called, a, a town? A, a trample? No one cares. Essentially, this game was completely over the moment we went not first. Oh, Magic, please. Please, Yu-Gi-Oh has fixed the problem going second. Hearthstone has p p p fixed more or more or less the problem going second. Every card game in the universe has fixed the advantages of going first versus second. Wizards just completely fucking ignores it, though. Scrolls arguably made it a little bit more powerful to go second, by the way. But yeah. Every card game has fixed the disadvantage of going second. Wizards? Well, honestly, how will they fix it? Most of their employees are dirt retarded. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's actually no way they fix it, because they're morons. Well, you know, not exactly my problem. And I am allowed to bitch about it how much ever I want. Oh, yes. Okay, let's see. 4 man, not 5 man. Eh, not 5 man, kind of not enough man. Let's see. 5, 5 turns into 6, 6 turns into 8. Okay. Oh yeah, that's an actual enchantment deck. Great! Literally got all of my late game cards, not a single ram card except one, and here's your casual dumbass retard. Who is playing an enchantment deck, and since, again, most people who play Yu-Gi-Oh! are mentally deficient, they get the most perfect hand opening ever. Core waifus, boys. Literally, every single time. Otherwise, these people would be unable to do anything. Okay, so how am I supposed to win this? Oh, I don't. That's right, even if we draw a land, which we most likely will not. Because skill-based gaming, and I feel that- Oh god, we actually drew a land, who would have thought? Okay, plan B! If you're not obviously dead by next turn, because, you know, it's turn 3. Might, might as well die, you know? There's always the possibility of literally just dying, because that's cool. Well, honestly, that's at least not me being dead. Close, but no cigar, you know? 5 HP, what are the chances that he makes the core waifu fly? Extensive. <laughs> Fucking extensive! Oh god! Okay, okay, this is fine, this is fine. Oh! Oh! Of course you top deck the thing that's... Amazing! Someone give this retard a medal! I can't... Dude, he just sacks this, gets immune... I can't... Uh, literally, I can't. He just sacks it, gets immunity, and I die. Fucking amazing, boys. Fucking amazing. What can I say? He just sacks it, gets immunity against green, and we die. Ne we never had a chance to begin with. Because wizards, gaming, design, experience and shit. Would not be surprised if he also just makes this fly for some reason. Also makes sense. Yeah, well, here's also the flying option. Yeah! Oh my god, it's... Dude, it's turn fucking four. That's, that's a 50-50 unit right there. Great game design. Great game design. Also, again, well, actually, this deck would... Well, it's kind of okay. We, we made the same shit. We actually were one of the people who popularized it, sadly. But yeah, the fact that you always start with a turn 2 core waifu, and there's 50 billion enchantments in the game that cost 1, and you draw a card because of core waifu, yeah. That, that, that's like legit. Currently on record, 
By the way, the last guy who played blue, uh, blue white enchantments this video, he most likely just did not have caught waifus. And you saw how that turned out. That was like an actual almost game game, which is hard to imagine, I know, but it's true. Okay, Garouk, Marvin, Vivian, and Khan's Bastion. Interesting. I wonder what kind of degeneracy we're gonna play against now. Hopefully a Nugent deck. Oh god, he has AD co Yeah, we lost. Ah! No! Do I drop the incubation, Grandma? Let's actually think. Okay, so you're an AD card life gain deck, and you still start with a Soul Warden. Okay. Helio turn 3 also, most likely. Wow. Impressive amounts of skill. Okay, let's see how it ends. Ah, oh, double the color, huh? Okay. Let me think the uh, for a moment, enemy condo. Drop this. No reason to not drop it now, considering we even have an extra. Okay, so what's the plan? Marvin or Garuk? Marvin or Garuk? Obviously Marvin and then Garuk. That would be probably the, the combination of winners. Also, this guy, seriously, he's just gonna attack like that. There's no one cost, uh, white anything that gives... Oh, right, this is actually a 1-1. One, one. I kind of forgot. Well, doesn't exactly matter if you know what I mean. Okay, let me think now. Let us think. Garuk, Vivian, Khan's Bastion... Anointed? Jesus Christ. Didn't expect actually that. Okay, suddenly this is all very much better. Okay, do this. That's a pretty big boy play right there, you know. A lot of blocks, but honestly, who cares? As long as he does not drop a what you call it, I think we're safe. I think it's okay. I think it's fine. He's also not killing Garuk, most likely. Like, look at his deck. Do you think he's gonna kill a Garuk? No! Hell no! Not believing it! That's right, just do your 3 damage to Garuk and see if I care, and we can see if I care! Okay, let's see. Obviously, press this first. Press this now. Amazing, Sugoi. That's right, that's like a 6-6 six, six also now. Very cool, very good. I wonder how bad is that guy's deck though. The fact that he's playing a million colored deck and not winning. That's, 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 you know, that's ominously bad I feel. But, you know what boys, as always, I will take it. If it's a freebie, it's the best B. Also, yeah, my, might as well do this. He's most likely gonna go for the Garuk kill anyway. And we kind of don't care because, you know, reasons. Okay, so this is currently fine. I can actually drop this, and if he chooses to not attack Vivian Chan for whatever twisted, sick, perverted reason, uh, we can just double Khan's Bastion, I think. And, well, that's, that's Vivian ulti. Let's see if he actually does it. Honestly, it's kind of annoying when there's two Planeswalkers out and you cannot kill either, because Planeswalkers are perpetual value. Who would have thought? Oh god, he actually goes for the Garuk Slay. Oh, enemy, god, that is so not... <gasps> Avorex Slicks. Um, yes. I will do it. Proof. <clears throat> Of a concept needs to be ha Oh, God, yes. Wait. Maybe this is... Ah! Who cares? YOLO420! Okay, was this smart? I don't know. I just want to establish a little bit of that unquestionable bridal dominance factor right here. Because we have a chance. Oh, I can still do it. It's amazing! Yeah, everything just got buffed a lot, and now everything's very indestructible. Okay, see, this is how this deck works. 
You get emblems. You get stuff done. Nice. And then your offensive good game is nice. But that's what a ball of Salvatore gets. A Johnny's pride mate, low skill. Okay, yeah, short sure. attack. Good game, good game indeed, brother. Easiest victory of my life, because everything went according to plan. Ah, yeah, pretty easy. What's the fastest we can actually do this? Turn 4, I think? Turn 1, Land of Order Elf. Turn 2, uh, the Elf that does the thing. Turn 3, Vorex Slicks. Turn 4, Vivi. Yeah! Uh, turn 4 is the fastest we can actually get a Vivian emblem out. So, it's a land... Uh, so let, 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 let's let's actually explain how this uh, this works so the fastest possible scenario happens. So turn one, a land plus land of or elf. Turn two, a land plus elvish arc druid. Uh, that is a, co a total of five man. Uh, turn three, you drop another land. You drop a Vorixlux because you have six man. Turn four, you drop a Vivian. And you emblem. Or alternatively, you... Actually, no, there's no way to do it with Marvin. But, you know, Marvin's a fine addition anyway. You know? So, yeah, you can get an emblem as fast as turn 4. This is the emblem turn 4 cheat deck. Also, by the way, you can do it, obviously, with pretty much any Planeswalker. And you can include blue in your mixtures. For example, you know... Tezret, the boy, also can be put in here. I don't know, I have thought maybe we can do this with the visitors and reefs. I don't know, boys, hard to... Ha it's hard to say, you know? You know what I'm saying? Hard to say. You can do it with a lot of things. It's, pr it's pretty simple. Anyway, so this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon, check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.